What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Big Sin, and we're back with another quick hit tip. Today, we're going to talk about bitrate and streaming on Twitch. Uh, we're going to go over things like what is bitrate, um, how much of a bitrate should you be using versus the resolution that you're streaming in, how fast of the internet do you need uh, per the bitrate that you're streaming at, those kind of things. It all matters, and it's going to change the viewer experience drastically based on uh, what resolutions you're streaming at so let's talk about it um, first we're going to get into what actually is bitrate and bitrate is the amount of data that you're going to be sending to twitch so if you're streaming at a 6,000 bit rate that means you're sending 6,000 bits per second to the twitch ingest servers now what does that actually mean right that's just how basically how much quality of the video that you're going to be sending out that others are going to be receiving now there's different bit rates that you should be using based on what uh, you know, resolution you're actually streaming at. If you're streaming at 1080p, 60 frames a second, you're gonna wanna be in the higher range of 5,000 to 6,000 bit rate. Now, you gotta remember as an affiliate, streaming at five to 6,000 bit rate may actually hurt you more than it's gonna benefit you. But why is that? So there's a thing on, on Twitch called transcoding. Okay, and what that means is no matter what resolution or what bit rate you're streaming at the people watching you can turn it down so if you're streaming at 1080p and someone's internet can't handle that they can turn you down to 720p or even lower down to 480p whatever works for their internet now as an affiliate you're not guaranteed to get transcoding options that's one of the big benefits of hitting partner on twitch every time you go live as a partner you will get those options and people can turn you down a lot of you may ask what did i stream at as an affiliate well i made that mistake i streamed at 1080p um, with a 5,000 bit rate. And I often was told by people that they couldn't see what was happening on my stream. It was pixelated for them. And that's because they're probably watching on mobile network or a bad Wi-Fi network. You know, people that don't have fast internet, they just can't keep up with that high of a bit rate. And that was, that was one of the big mistakes that I made and that I would probably change. If I went back and I started streaming again as an affiliate, I would probably stream at 720p or something in between 720 and 1080. And that's just to make the viewer experience better for everyone. Now, but now that I'm a partner, I get transcoding options every single time. All right, and that's that's huge for my stream. But let's say let's say you stream at 1080p, right? I said you should be between 5,000 and 6,000 bit rate, but what if you're streaming at 720p? Now at 720p, which recommends somewhere between 4,000 and 4,500, and that's a lot more manageable for those with slower internet or watching on Wi-Fi or even on their mobile networks. And the mobile networks are always a little bit behind anyways, um, but they definitely don't have as fast as speeds unless you're on like a really good 5G network. You know, some 4G networks are fast enough to watch Twitch, but definitely, you know, once you get into the 3G, it's just like the lower the better for those guys. I mean, I wouldn't even recommend even trying to watch on 3G, but people do it. And you know, it is what it is. It's the best someone has. That's what they're gonna do to watch. All right, now the big question is, if you're streaming at a 6,000 bit rate, how fast of internet do you need? Twitch recommends between 5.5 and 7.5 megabits per second. But I'm here to tell you, that's probably not gonna cut it. And let me tell you why. So your internet provider, let's say they promise you 20 megabits per second upload. Now you go to do a speed test, you're gonna notice that at times, sure, it'll burst up to 20 like they promise, but you're gonna have a lower average speed. And that's the speed that pretty much matters when you're streaming on Twitch. And that's because when you're uploading video, it's a constant video transfer. Twitch doesn't care about how fast your internet connection can burst. It matters what that constant speed is between you and their servers. So the higher, the better. So I would recommend somewhere around 20 if you're gonna stream at 6,000 bit rate. You can probably get away with lower if you're gonna stream at 4,000, you know, 15, somewhere in there will be safe. But what really matters is how the average speed and how consistent your connection is from your provider. Okay, now you know how fast the internet you need. But when you log into your streaming software, OBS, Xbit, whatever it may be, they offer two different types of bitrate and which one should you use? Now there's a constant bitrate, which means you're gonna transfer data between yourself and the Twitch servers at a constant speed. You know, if you set your thing up to go to 4,500 bits per second, it's gonna upload constantly at 4,500 bits per second. There's another one called variable bitrate that'll kind of figure it out on its own and if you're playing a game like Rocket League, it's gonna use a higher bit rate because it needs more speed. And if you're sitting here just chatting, you know, with just your camera and it's a slow motion video, you're gonna need a lower bit rate. Now, in theory, that sounds like a better idea, right? Probably not, actually, it's actually not. So and let me tell you why. So you're gonna be having a lot of viewers from all over that have different internet. Oh, hello there. Needs. 
and let's say your bitrate slows down to 2000 because you're sitting here just chatting all you have is a camera it's slow motion you don't need a lot of data sent but then you switch into rocket league or warzone or another game bye have a great time and that bitrate jumps from 2000 up to 6000 now anyone that doesn't have a good connection whether they're on mobile or a bad wi-fi connection or whatever it may be they're going to catch some end user lag because their device can't keep up with that big jump from 2000 to 6000 so that's why twitch actually recommends using a constant bitrate over the variable even though in theory it seems like variable may be better all right so that's pretty much all there is uh regarding bitrate bitrate's not as confusing as it actually seems if you need any help feel free to ask a question in the comments below i try to pride myself on answering as many questions as i can if you go back to any of my past videos you'll see anyone that asked a question they actually got an answer from me and i'll keep doing that as long as i can keep up so i really appreciate you guys taking the time if this video was helpful for you please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and we'll see you next week where I think we're going to go over Elgato stream decks and all the cool things you can do with them. Much love, guys. See you later. Peace.